despite the fact that it is just about two weeks to the swearing in of the president elect Bola Metinobo, Buhari is still appointing security agents. Buhari is still making appointments. At this time, hmm, appointments he did not make for the whole of the eight years he was in office. It is now that <laughs> the tenure is drawing to an end. That is when he feels that it's the right time for him to make appointments. Hmm. We shall go into all the details of that in a bit. But before we do so, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Despite 18 days to Andover, Buhari makes top security appointment. President Muhammadu Buhari has appointed the retiring Assistant Inspector General of Police, Gaba Baba Umar, as a senior security advisor on international police cooperation and counter terrorism in the office of the Minister of Police Affairs. Newsroom Nigeria reports that this is to enable Nigeria to keep the important position and make way for him to complete his nationally beneficial tenure as an executive member of the International Police Organization, Interpol. This was made known in a statement to Newsroom Nigeria on Thursday by Buhari's Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shewu. The statement added, and I quote, in approving his appointment, President Buhari took note of a precedent in which a former executive member, AIG, Kamau Subao, retired, was retained in service by the federal government of Nigeria after retirement in 2018. President Buhari also took note of the fact that during its tenure, as a member of the executive committee, AIG Omar assisted Nigeria in many ways with the hope that in the remaining one year, he will even do more in, security, in securing equipment for crimes, border management and counter-terrorism for the country, and in helping to get more Nigerians into important positions in the Interpol. AIG Umar's tenure at the Interpol ends in November 2024 and his new appointment as Senior Security Advisor take effect from 16th of May 2023. What do you guys think about this as normal as, <laughs> as expected? The appointment goes to a northerner, an Aousa, a Muslim as usual. As, as every other appointment Buhari has made so far during his 8th tenure, it usually goes to, you know, an Aousa person. You know, that is why I feel this is even one of the reasons that Nigeria, it's the way it is. This is the main reason why Nigeria is so, so big on ethnicity, so big on tribe, because normally people believe that you know when it is your own person there when it is your own tribe it means your tribe automatically is going to be is going to be like the highest beneficiary beneficiary from that um, administration that is why most people most people especially the northerners they know what they're doing they know what they're doing they don't they is it's hardly ever will northerners support an administration that has no Aousa in it, that has no northerner. That is why Tinubu had to, you know, carry Shetima as ambag, carry Shetima follow body, so that the northerners can vote for him. Most of the times, every decisions 
that is being made in this country you know the northerners are on the top of the list they are they are put in, they are put into consideration because they know that that is where the vote is coming from northerners will never vote for anybody if they know that their tribe person is not there because they know that when this person eventually gets into office they are going to benefit and for the last eight years we've seen that happen in appointments how many yoruba person was nominated how many uh, southeastern person was nominated throughout buhari's regime and this is the way it has always been in this country let us just face it this is the way it has always been that is why most people would prefer would prefer to vote for their tribe person because when my tribe person is there when my tribe is there i know that for sure yorubas are going to are going to get important positions where the southeastern person eventually becomes a president for sure southeasterners are going to get opportunities that is just the way it is we are shouting that we should not be biased uh, we should not we are one we are one <laughs> We are one, we are one. People don't take that into action, no. We are one, we are one. It's just for mouth in this country. As far as we are concerned, a lot of things are going on, you know, underground, not even underground, on the surface that you can see. So Nigeria is one. It's just for pa patriotism. Uh, it's just for patriotism benefits. We are one, we are one in this nation. Hmm. These are the reasons why, you know, <laughs> ethnic bias will still happen any day, any time. But you guys, this is just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that uh, Buhari should be making this kind of a important uh, appointment at this time, you know, at the 11th hour when he's about to leave office? It's just two weeks to the end of his uh, tenure. In office, you think you should be making this important kind of important decision at this time, and do you think that once again the position should go to a northerner? Let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't, turn on the post notification, share this video with your friends and family as well. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.